Hi everyone, I'm Leanne Lee, your diva of DIY. I wanted to share with you today how to use an airless spray gun, because I think it's very intimidating when you take one of these out of the box. You know, it's got a motor, it's got all of these parts and hoses, and typically painters, especially when they're doing exterior, are men. So we haven't been taught as women to use these, but it is super, super easy to use. And so I wanna show you how to put it together I'm actually getting ready to paint my husband's building. And so before I do that, I thought, let me show you how to get it ready. So here it is. We're using the HomeRite PowerFlow Pro 2800. It is super easy. When you take it out of the box, it actually just has a couple of hoses to hook up. These hoses are already attached. You're gonna have your power cord, which is an AC adapter. And then you're just going to have your one long cord which hooks your spray gun. That is going to hook one end to your spray gun and one end to the machine itself. All right, then you're also going to have a nozzle and that nozzle is going to have an on off switch. And so that is how you will adjust whether or not you want it to spray or not. Okay, so you've got this piece and you've got your gun. The first thing we have to do before we start is prime the gun, okay? So let me show you how to do that. You have two hoses that come with the gun. One is your suction tube and one is your waste tube, okay? And what happens is, once it's been primed, both of them will go in the paint and one will filter the paint, and as it's used, it will come back out the waste tube, but it keeps the paint circulating, and so you're not wasting the paint. But for, to begin, we have to actually get the paint up inside the hose so that it's actually working. So to prime it, we're gonna take our suction tube and put it in water. We're gonna take our waste tube and put it in its own separate container, okay? We're going to take our gun and we do not want to put our spray nozzle on it yet. So it is off, okay? And we're going to turn this to prime. There are two adjustments. There's prime and spray and it just turns like this. So I am turning that to prime, okay? And then over here on the left side, if you're facing the front of the machine, I'm turning that to, let's find it, to prime as well, okay? I'm gonna turn the machine on, and you will see that it starts to come out of the waste tube. Now, because this hasn't been used, there's not anything that's gonna come out except for clear waste. So you do that for about 30 to 60 seconds, let that run, that's just clearing it out. Once you're finished doing that, turn the machine off. Okay, we're gonna turn it off. Now it's time to put our nozzle on. So I'm going to put it on. You want your turn, your on off nozzle to be at the top and you're going to screw that on right here, ah, super easy. Just screws right on here. And let me show you then what it looks like. Make sure you get it tight. So then it'll turn on and off here. And then you'll be able to either use the wand this way or this way, depending on which way you want your nozzle to spray, okay? And then this is gonna be your trigger handle here, okay? So now we're, gonna we're going to actually put both of our tubes in, oh, actually, no, yeah, both of our tubes over into the same container now. We're gonna turn that back on Switch it from prime to spray. Once it stops 
you're going to switch your prime over here over to spray and you are ready to go. Do you see that? I'm spraying water, okay? Let's act like this is paint in here. We're gonna act like we've got it in paint here. I'm just spraying water. Do you see how smooth that is? Assume this is paint in here. We're just painting away. That is all you have to do to have your gun ready. Now, I'm gonna go, we're painting uh, my husband's building black. We're gonna get that painted. It paints one gallon of paint every four minutes. So let's see how fast we can get it done. diva of DIY and today I have been spray painting my husband's building uh, using the Homerite PowerFlow Pro 2800 airless paint sprayer. It has really not been a chore at all. I, I will say I am a painter by trade and I, I do enjoy painting but this has really been a breeze. It's been quick and easy. What I love about this sprayer is it is self-contained. It's got its own unit here it comes with everything you need to get started. And it sprays one gallon of paint every four minutes. So we were able to paint this entire building very, very quickly. It is easy to get started. It's easy to clean up. And I'm gonna show you that here in just a minute. And I just, from a professional, I'm here to tell you, you don't need a professional to do a project like this. Get a HomeRight PowerFlow Pro and you can do this yourself. I'm Leanne Lee, your diva of DIY, and I'll see you next time. Hi everyone, I'm Leanne Lee, your diva of DIY. Okay, I've shown you how to prime the HomeRite airless paint sprayer. I've shown you how to paint a building. Now I'm gonna show you how to clean the machine. And I don't want you to feel like this is overwhelming because I promise this is super easy. Now I'm gonna show you the way that I typically clean the gun and um, I hope you find that it's easy too. So the way I typically clean it is I take my tubes straight out of the can, which you can see they've got black paint on them from when we were painting, and I put them in a fresh bucket of water. And then I have another bucket of water over here that just has a little bit of water in it just so um, it doesn't stick to the bottom of this bucket over here. And then I go ahead and I leave my gun on spray. I'm gonna put it on kind of a low spray so that it doesn't shoot this water back up at me. And then I'm gonna turn it on and I'm going to go ahead and just start spraying out. All right, till I run out of... There we go until I run out of black paint in my gun, okay? What that means is I now have, once there's no more black paint spraying out of this part of it, that means that it's no longer in my needle, okay? It's no longer up here, all right? It's now shooting straight water. So now I want to take it and I want to switch it to the, I'm gonna turn it off and I want to switch it to the prime and prime is going to now clean out the hose okay so i'm going to take prime that we did in the first video and i'm going to switch the other dial to where it says prime and clean then i'm going to take remember we had the on off switch on our needle so i'm going to switch it so it's now on off which is clean and there's the arrow that's now pointing towards me which means it's not spraying towards the wall Okay, and now I'm gonna turn it back on. What that means is now it's not working on this part. What it's actually doing is working on the hose and it's actually going to take the clean water and suck it up through this hose and dispense the black paint out through the waste tube. Okay, and that's gonna help clean out the machine. All right, 
and let's watch what happens here. This is gonna take a little bit of time, but it's not hard. So what I don't like is when I'm constantly like, what if I'm rolling and I'm rolling a wall and I have to clean out the roller and it takes forever and I'm constantly cleaning out the roller. This is a little patient, but I'm sitting here talking to you and we're having a good conversation, so it's not hard. Like I could drink a Coke or I could have some chips or have a snack while I'm doing this if I wanted to. So it's not hard. Okay, it's starting to get clean now. Look, my water is coming out clean. So now I know that this tube is now clean. So I turn it off. I know that this whole thing is clean. I will now take this apart. Um, so I'm gonna just unhook right here. Just unscrew that. I showed you in the first video how to screw that on. I'm just gonna unhook that. I just wanna make sure it's clean and it is because I had sprayed all of the water and stuff through there. I like to keep this separate. I just store all this. The only other thing I like to do to keep my machine fresh and clean is you'll see I have some paint on the outside here. I'm gonna just clean that off. I'm gonna use just a little um, uh, green uh, scotch Bright pad and get that tube clean just so it doesn't, if I, the next time I might use white paint and I don't wanna get black flakes in it. So I'm gonna get that cleaned off and just make sure that my machine stays nice and pretty and that's all there is to it. So cleaning the machine is easy getting the machine ready is easy, and painting is easy. I'm Leanne Lee, your diva of DIY. See you next time.